techniques for finding the best topic for you finding a great topic finding a great phd topic relies on you not settling for the first thing you can come up with there are rumors that professor stephen hawking took an entire year to choose his phd topic phd topics are best thought out in collaboration with current experts in the field and a series of simple questions that we will go through in detail below number 1 what do you like to do actions involved i would recommend looking for a, looking at a potential phd topic from the point of view of the actions that you need to perform to answer the research question we can quickly become intellectual and academic when discussing phd research questions the reality of doing a phd is that you have to perform tasks to generate knowledge if you head the task you will probably head your phd research is varied and broad term that encompasses a range of types of investigation my phd involved synthesizing semiconducting nanoparticles characterizing their physical and electrochemical properties and then incorporating them into solar cells i did not step into the lab while discussing the research topic and i had no idea what was involved but i knew that the physical chemistry techniques involved would likely be right up my alley suppose you are a person who likes to be left alone to think about things in that case a phd topic involving scoring scouring the literature formulating ideas and coming up with your theories will be much better than a topic involving speaking to people to generate results on the other hand many phd topics involve students going out into the world and collecting data from field experiments if you like being out and about for interacting with people choose a phd that will allow you to do that there is a mode of research to suit nearly every type of person and it is something that is significantly overlooked when choosing a choosing a phd topic number 2 explore and find gaps reading review articles and dissertation from previous phd students will also allow you to find gaps in knowledge or obvious points of continuation many phd thesis and review articles are available for free online you can think of this process as a miniature literature review it would help to focus on recent publications for example published in the last 5 years and look at review articles to provide a broad overview when looking at the research it is important to ask yourself some questions to work out the gaps to be filled can i could i put a spin on this on this research what does the research show and do i have any un- unanswered questions that need investigation could i make this better how often is research published in this field the more research the more potential there is to generate new knowledge this four simple questions will help you to determine whether or not there are gaps in the research that you would be excited to fill arguably talking with supervisors is the best way to determine a great topic take your <coughs> list of potential research gaps to a supervisor who you think will be a good fit for your potential research field they will happily provide you with their opinions about the proposed topics and it is a great way to start building relationships number 3 reach out potential phd supervisors 
पी एच डी सुपरवाइजर्स एंड एकेडेमिक्स आर द बेस्ट पीपल टू स्पीक वेन डिसाइडिंग ऑन ए पी एच डी टॉपिक स्पीकिंग टू ए रेंज ऑफ सुपरवाइजर्स विल अलाउ यू टू स्ट्रेस टेस्ट योर आइडिया ए ग्रेट टॉपिक नीड्स टू बी एज वाटर टाइट एज पॉसिबल अदरवाइज यू कूड वेस्ट मेनी ईयर्स ऑफ योर लाइफ ऑन ए टॉपिक दैट विल गो नो हुएर Your potential PhD supervisors has likely graduated many PhD students during their time in academia. They will have a much better idea about what makes a good PhD topic and will often help you refine the question and provide you with their thoughts about the gaps in the research field. Speaking with a PhD supervisor at this early stage will also allow you to understand how the academic process works. Don't be surprised if they give it a thorough working over and find all the potential shortfalls of your idea. This tear down is what research is all about. It would help you help if you aimed for at least three conversation with academics to help you formulate a great PhD topic. I have found that academics are very willing to give up time. for potential phd students as that is what their career relies on that is attracting many students to further their careers through the generation of papers and knowledge the continual publishing keeps their career alive and flourishing use this to your advantage and note any particular supervisor with whom you can get on well and enjoy the conversation if you cannot find an academic supervisor you can also talk to postdoctoral researcher and later late stage phd students to formulate your ideas they will almost suddenly be happy to share their experience during their phd and help you formulate your topic most are looking for any distraction and your enthusiasm will be just what they want reach out via email number 4 find the right sized topic a good research topic is neither too broad nor too niche there is a golden locks zone to perf uh, of perfect phd topics that uh, allow you to explore a little more give you a more opportunities to failure for failure and recovery and are narrow enough to answer a specific question adequately My recommendation for finding a great PhD topic is to niche up and down your particular area until you find one that allows you to have a little bit of wiggle room on the types of research knowledge you generate. Finding the right sized research topic can be one of the most challenging components of formulating the research topic. Too broad and you will find yourself trying to cover too many things in the limited time you have as a PhD student. Too narrow you will you may be looked locked into an idea that would never work without the opportunity of side stepping the issue to continue to more, make progress. Number 5 look at the advertised phd positions there are now many places online to find advertised phd positions when a large grant is awarded to a research project the project team often expects to graduate a certain number of phd students because time is of the essence they often place this phd aggregator sites and receive many application worldwide the benefits of finding an advertised phd position include money you know that a good amount of money is available to perform research and provide a scholarship hot topic an advertised phd position means an ongoing interest in a particular research field and filling research gaps topic provided with large grants 
it is likely that they have already have a good idea about what they want phd students to work on some people may not like this because it limits their creative input into the topic choice excitement never underestimate the power of an extern excitement when a grant is awarded an advertised phd position often accompanies a certain level of excitement from even the saltiest and withered of phd supervisors you could be a pet project for a while and be able to hold more of the attention of the supervisor which can be a good and bad thing at the time of writing the best places to find phd online number 1 discover phds.com find a phds.com postgrad.com postgraduate studentships.co.uk phdstudies.com linkedin.com indeed.com nature.com supervisor choice supervisor choice is one of the most important component of surviving your phd a phd supervisor will be responsible for guiding you supporting you and becoming one of the most annoying people in your life like everyone every phd supervisor is flawed in so many ways like finding a phd supervisor that matches your area of the proposed research can communicate effectively and matches your preferred supervisory supervisor style will make your phd so much more enjoyable you just have to find a phd supervisor that is flawed in a way that is compatible with with how you are flawed a good supervisor is someone who communicates effectively is able to help guide clearly and concisely and is and is open to discussion and conversation around the research is available many researchers are very very busy and often away or unavailable for long periods a good supervisor is available to their students matches your preferred managerial style some people need micromanagers to keep them on track while others prefer supervisors who are much more hands off with their phd students choose one that matches your preferred style of interaction provides growth opportunities a great phd supervisor helps you to grow as an academic and works with you to grow the skills you want to grow a team player some academics take all of their credit for their for uh, for themselves and do not share their success with the team some of the best researchers and academics i have seen i have ever seen acknowledge the work of their phd students and therefore the accolades they have they receive here are all aspects of a potential phd supervisor that will ensure that you survive your phd